Hi there, YouTube. Um, I'm Anish here, and uh, I'm doing I'm doing another integral problem here as usual. And uh, this one seems easy, but believe me, it isn't because uh, we don't have uh, anyone's derivative sitting on top or something like that. So normal substitution won't work at all. And I don't think. Uh, well, let's do it. Um, what I claim is I can write this expression 2x minus 1 over this x minus 1 times x minus 2 as I claim this as a over x minus 1 which where a is um, a constant maybe and some other constant b over x minus 2 and that's because when I take the least common multiple or LCM uh, in the denominator I'll get the, the same thing right so I cannot claim that I can create 2x minus 1 out of uh, these two a and b's and later on I can solve for these a and b and you'll you'll see why I'm doing this because it kind of gets easier right so um, how do we solve for a and b well, uh, let's multiply both sides by x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, what will we get? We get 2x minus 1 equals this x minus 1 cancels and we get a times x minus 2 plus and similarly we get b times x minus 1. Alright, now uh, to solve for a and b there's a longer way and there's uh, a way shorter way. Well, I'm not going to tell you the long way because it is really too long. <laughs> right. okay. So I'm going to tell you the short way. Um, what if we set x equals two? What will happen? Just think about it. This term will get some value, uh, which is uh, what three or something. Now this term right here, two minus two is zero, so this term will disappear, and I'll left I'll be left with only a linear equation in B. So that's why I'm doing it. All right, it's kind of a trick. You're gonna have to see it. All right. So let's set. It's a horrible set, but it's okay. X equals two. So what will happen then? Uh, here we'll get. 4 minus 1 which is 3 and here as, as I said 2 minus 2 is 0 so this term disappears and here I'll be left with B look that's just a one line problem I directly found the value of B right so it's kind of very very cool and now what if we set similar arguments x equals 1 now this term will disappear so I'll be left with only a linear equation in A Right. <coughs> so what will I get here? Uh, two minus one is one equals one minus two is minus one, so it's minus a. So from here I get that a is negative one. Look, um, now uh, we can write this as well, we just found for a, found a right. We get found a as what minus one. It's minus 1 over x minus 1 and plus b. b is 3 as we found. 3 over x minus 2. And you can check for yourself, you know, uh, you can multiply this 2 and uh, taking LCM and you'll find that the numerator, numerator turns out to be this 2x minus 1, right? Okay, so now what what uh, advantage have we got from here now the question says we have to integrate this term right integrate what 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 x minus 2 right and I found that I can write this as negative 1 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 2 <coughs> now see um, this is 
turned out to be uh, easier than expected because now you can individually integrate this, right? You can kind of separate them. So this becomes the integral of minus 1 over x minus 1 plus the integral of 3 over x minus 2. And I believe that now the problem is almost over because minus 1 is a constant. I can take it out. The integral of minus, I'm sorry, 1 over x minus 1 is nothing but, yeah, it's the natural log of the actual value of x minus 1. All right, and now what? Plus 3 times, and by similar arguments, I can say that this becomes the natural log, the absolute value of x minus 2. And if you want, you can add a plus C here, just to get marks. <laughs> right? So, done. The problem is done. You know, you, you can check for yourself. You can differentiate this term and you'll definitely get um, 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, that's integration by partial fractions for you. This is called integration by partial fractions because um, you can, you're kind of breaking the rules, right? You're kind of splitting this up. And, uh, you know, it's very easy to go from here to here, but as I said, this, from going here to here, it's kind of difficult. You kind of have to solve linear equations and all that. So it's kind of the basic technique. Uh, it kind of helps. It's awesome, actually. So that's it. We'll use it for some problems, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, YouTube.